Hey guys, on this look I'll be doing a very bold look which is contrary to what I have been doing the past few videos. So as you can see it's a bright pop of color on the eyelids and bright pop of color on the lips and kind of like a neutral-ish cheek. I mean it kind of has a little color but it's not like bold and vivid like those two aspects of my face. You could use this look for Mardi Gras, you could wear it out in public like I would. Or you can just do it for fun, for a costume. But I did use a couple of the new products that have come out. Like, well, only one new product. But you get my drift. I used Strong Woman lipstick, which is from the Max Strong Woman collection. I used a, mainly a, well, I used all Sedona Lace eyeshadows on my eyes. So if this is a look that interests you, stay tuned. I first took my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and applied it all over my eyes. I then took my Ben and I cream color in Cosmic Blue. It looks like that. Please ignore my nails. I've not done them yet. I applied that on like half of my lid and that was it. The palette I'm going to be using in this video is the Sedona Lace 168 palette. And it has 168 colors in there. So if you have that, go ahead and grab it. If not, I'll have a link to where you can get an information box and also a coupon code if you want to order it. First, I'm going to take a buffer color. I'm taking the first layer and this marbleized color on the bottom right corner. I'm using a MAC 217 brush. And I'm applying this. I'm now taking my lid color. I'm taking that same layer and I'm using this pretty turquoise. Six from the right is matte. I'm using a Sigma flat brush. It looks like this. And I'm really, really packing that on the lid. I'm going to take the corner of that brush, like the outer tip, and I'm taking a green. I'm using three from the left. This color right here, four from the top. I'm taking a little bit of that green. I'm applying the inside of my eye like I've done over here to kind of blend that turquoise and yellow together. Now I'm going back in with more turquoise in the flat side of the brush and I'm just going to blend that in. I'm also going to go back in with my buffer color to smooth out the other side. I'm now taking my outer corner color. I'm taking this beautiful purple right here. It's five from the right, and it's matte two up. I'm using an e.l.f. contour brush. This is going in my outer corner, and I'm blending like right on the outside of my crease. I am now taking a NYX Jumbo Pencil. This is in hot pink. I'm applying this along the entire length of my lower lash line and blending it out. I'm taking a 214 brush. I'm taking this beautiful pinkish purple color in the bottom layer of the 168 palette. This is five from the right and two up. I'm applying this along the entire length of my lash line. I'm taking some glitter, just the inside of my eye, like halfway across. This is NYX Glitter Cream Palette in Pretty in Pink. I'm taking the second glitter right there. I'm using the little sponge that came in there to apply it to the inner half. I also forgot to do something. I'm gonna take a lighter turquoise color and I'm gonna use this one this one is actually more of a robin's egg color this is seven from the left at the top of the first layer and I'm using that same flat brush I used earlier this is going into my tear duct for my waterline I'm using process magenta chromographic pencil by MAC use it at your own risk I'm applying black track fluid line at the top of my eyes, some mascara, the Zoom Water Fast Lash, and as my lashes, I'm using the 218s by, or from the beauty supply store. 
and they look like this so pretty dramatic I'm gonna apply some concealer my studio scope concealer in the B35 to clean up around my eyes and I'll return once I'm done I've completed my eyes I'm now going to do my face I'm first going to apply my new favorite foundation. This is the new YSO or East Saint Laurent foundation. La Tint Touche Eclat. That shit ain't right. Let me look this up. I'm not about to attempt to pronounce that. But once I actually find out how to say it, I will say it in future videos. But if you know how to pronounce it, um, just leave the pronunciation, pronunci pronunciation in the comment section. But this stuff is awesome. And if you're wondering, I'm in the shade B70. This stuff is amazing. I love it to death. So don't release number 480. Looks like that. Like, y'all really do not understand how amazing that foundation is. Like... Huh, it's amazing. Like, it's better than my NARS Sheer Glow. It's better than my MAC Mineralized Satin Finish. I love this foundation. Like, it gives me such a nice glow. It gives me such nice coverage. There's just nothing bad I can say about it. I'm actually going to use Medium Plus as the thing I intended to use it for in the first place. But this is Medium Plus Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm using this as a highlighter. I'm using a Bare Minerals Soft Sweep Cheek Brush. And this is in a holiday set. The RSVP kit, like, last Christmas. Not the one that just passed, but the one before. I'm now going to apply contour. This is Sun Power Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC. I'm using that same brush for that purpose. And as you can see, I didn't do that too bold. I kind of did it minimal. For my blush, I'm going to use Peony Puddle by MAC. This was from a limited edition collection. If you do not have this, use Pink Swoon, which is very similar. And it's also permanent. Using the same brush. You could also use Dame Blush as well. That's pretty close uh, in this color family as well. For my lip line, I'm going to use Half Red by MAC. I'm not going to show you that nasty, disgusting looking thing. Let me sharpen this thing. It looks like this. It looks like this when you draw it on. And then for my lips, I'm going to use a very popular color that people hoarded when they were at least on the MAC site. This is Strong Woman, which is a beautiful pinkish purple lipstick, and it's matte. That's the best part about it. Since everything is kind of matte on my eyes, I'm going to put a juicy gloss in the center of my lips. And I am using a lavender lip gloss. This is Cine Style by MAC. It's a cream sheen glass. You can use any similar product or a clear gloss. They'll probably work the same. That's it for the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll zoom in and show the final look once more. These are the very bold and bright glittery eyes. By the way, you could also use this for Mardi Gras. I forgot about that. So it's actually a perfect time for this look. These are the cheeks. And my lips. I'll have pictures of the final look on my blog, a list of everything I used in the information box, and yeah, other links as well, like links where you could purchase the palette that I used, and yeah, I will talk to all of you soon. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.